Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jasmine aka Jazzy Jet Sets and I'm very excited about today's video because it's sponsored by Joburg Pilgrimer and I'm really excited to share this as a resource that I think would be helpful for any and everyone experiencing South Africa. So let's get into it. So what is Joburg Pilgrimer? Well, this is a comprehensive online platform to market everything available for locals and visitors to do and experience in and around Johannesburg. So let's Let's get into the website together. As you can see, there are a ton of categories to choose from, so I thought it would be great to start off with neighborhoods. I love that they break down the neighborhoods by north, south, east, and west so that you can really see geographically where each neighborhood is in the city. I also appreciate that for each neighborhood they included pictures so that you could get a better feel of what the neighborhood actually looks like, which is really helpful. Then I decided to check out the apartments category, which you know, for the expats, anybody who's moving, whether you're local or not, like this part is so helpful. And I think one of the good things about the platform is that a lot of businesses market on the platform themselves so you can find all the information you need like how much the apartment is going for etc etc so again another really valuable element of the platform some of the other really valuable categories on the platform are malls restaurants they have taxi ranks hotels museums theaters they have schools they even have like wedding venues this is the nature reserves tab for the safari lovers like just really helpful information they even have a college tab for anyone who is interested in exploring higher education a lot of people who are interested in moving to south africa reach out to me and they have questions about schools and neighborhoods and just day-to-day -day life there so i really feel like the pilgrimer is a great resource and platform to really help you of course i had to visit the things to do tab to see what they have listed and they definitely have four ways farmers market here so we love to see that and it lets me know that they are really good at you know thinking about what people actually like to do in Joburg and what the local people like to do so if you are a person who lives in Joburg or plans to visit Joburg or if you have a business that you feel like would be valuable on this platform make sure you check out the Joburg pilgrimer i do not think that you will be disappointed at all. I think you will find it to be very valuable, very helpful and useful information. Now let's get into our latest video, the very long overdue moving vlog. So as you all know, I have been trying to do a much better job at sharing day-to-day -day life of living in Johannesburg and I feel like there's absolutely no way that I can share those kinds of things and not share with you my move out of this luxury apartment in Santon. So for a little context, this is actually my third or fourth time moving within Johannesburg. And the first time I was moving from Melrose Arch to Rosebank, and then I moved to another apartment that was maybe a block away in Rosebank, which I just wanna give a major shout out to Rosebank. It's one of the best neighborhoods to live in for sure. I was just trying to be a little fancy um, thing and move into Santon whenever I got this apartment. But I just wanna say Rosebank is really that girl. Anyways, I digress. So back to this move, I just want to share a little bit about, you know, how I prepared for it, what are the things that I needed to do, what are the materials that I needed, any advice that I have. And so let's start with the first thing. What did I do to prepare to move out? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I did absolutely nothing to prepare because I am a last minute Lucy and I find that I just work a little bit better under the pressure so yes and I will just say the pressure was getting worse in this three day situation so yes secondly how long did it take me it took me about three days to really get it all done third any advice that I have my advice to anyone who is moving and take this as someone who's moved a number of times I've moved from like New York to Uganda I've moved from New Jersey to Atlanta I've moved from Atlanta to Ohio I've moved from Boston to South Africa my best advice that I would give anyone who is going through a move is get somebody else to do it <laughs> Mm -mm, mm -mm. get somebody else to do it don't do it yourself pay the five pay the money and get someone else to do it so that you can have peace of mind because I'm telling you it's totally worth it unfortunately that was not the case for me this time because I have a lot of travel coming up in the west so I actually had to put my money there and decided to just sacrifice this part and do the move on my own and boy did I feel 
feel it. So let's talk about some of the supplies that I used. I actually sourced my boxes from local grocery stores like Woolies and Checkers. They were totally good about giving me boxes. I made sure I sprayed some disinfectant in there and it was really a go. Like it was great. Also, another piece of advice, do your laundry in advance. I had been waiting to do my laundry. And so now, in addition to moving, I have to make sure that I am going through the process of doing my laundry and getting that done. Again, last minute, Lucy, you want to make sure that you're setting yourself up for success. And I did not do that here. But anyways, back to the boxes. This is me basically just like taping them much better, putting them together. And like I said earlier, I did bought some disinfectant spray so that I could actually spray them as well before putting items in there. But to be very honest, I wasn't too concerned about germs because a lot of the items in the boxes weren't closed and I was planning to put the boxes in storage. So I wasn't super concerned about germs and things like that. So we got the boxes together, but we basically spent most of the day doing laundry and just kind of organizing things in the way that we wanted to pack them. And then it was really time for me to take a break because I could see that the sun was setting out on the balcony and I really just took this as an opportunity to have a moment and appreciate and show gratitude for the apartment that I'm in this balcony this was my favorite space and part of my apartment so and I always get great sunsets here so I really just took this time to you know show appreciation and of course you have to clear out the chargers drawer and so that's what I was doing here and then it was time for us to head into day two and we were back at it we had to pick up more boxes from the grocery stores as you can see I was still in pretty good spirits and I went to Woolworths this time I think I even started at Checkers this is some of the disinfectant that I was using here you can see me spraying the boxes a bit more um and for me, it kind of felt like things were not moving as fast as I wanted them to. Surprise, surprise, I'm impatient and I hate waiting. So yes, I felt like this part was taking me way too long, okay? I was kind of over it by then. Remember, this is day two. I probably spent about eight hours to nine or 10 hours day one. And I was just feeling like, when is this really gonna make me feel like I'm making some progress? I don't know about y'all, but I get way more energy and even more effective and efficient when I can see progress being made. And at this point, I just really couldn't see it. But I decided to start in the second bedroom. So this box is full of hats. And so the second bedroom really is nothing in there. It's just kind of like where I iron my clothes. I keep my linens here. I keep luggage. I keep clothes that I'm actually not wearing anytime soon in here, coats and jackets. So I decided, you know what, let's start with that room because if I get that done and it feels like it'll be pretty easy, it'll make me feel like I'm making some good progress. And I totally did. Like I got this done within maybe like an hour and a half to two hours and once I got this room done I started feeling like much better about the entire process I felt like I was moving effectively I felt like the way that I was packing was exactly what I wanted it was great then my house helper came over to grab some things and she was so helpful. I didn't even ask her. She just kind of started helping me like pack things away and put the tape on them. I think she felt like I didn't really know what I was doing. So I really appreciated that. Um, so with her help, I got like a lot of things into the boxes in a way that I felt like was really good, which was necessary because the rest of the day was a complete disaster. <laughs> It's the end of the day. I just felt, you know, we might as well just document everything. You know, all the cool curated shit. The move didn't go well. <laughs> From body corporate, which is what they call it here, to my movers, logistics. It just didn't work out. And on my live, I said that, that line that Kanye said back in the day on that independent shit, traded off for a husband and some kids. I never agreed, but today is one of those days. <laughs> today is one of those days. Today is one of those days. So yeah, there's still a bed here, but no pillows or blankets. So love that for me. We we still in the tub, okay? Still in there. I'm still full. Don't even look like we leaving here tomorrow. But then look, 
Look at this. Look at this stuff. Look at this. Look at my life. Live in my life. Don't you forget. Caught in the cup. It never ends. It never ends. So day three, I woke up in much better spirits and it was time to get a move on and pack up the bathrooms because we were going to the storage unit today. I start with gratitude. I am love. I only imagine the best for myself. Everything I intentionally want happens for me. I think highly of myself. I'm living with intention. I trust myself. So those are my personal affirmations that I try to say every morning whenever I wake up. I like to hang them on my mirror because it's one of the first places that I look in the morning. But if you are a person who needs words of encouragement often and you live alone or you feel like you just don't get them from other people, I would strongly advise you to create some affirmations, write them down and put them on your mirror, put them next to your bed, put them in your journal, put them wherever you need to so that you can receive that self-encouragement. Now this is them bringing back my headboard because apparently it wasn't going to fit in the truck with the other thing so that we had to come back for it. I would just say that this day was probably the most chaotic because this was the day that we were actually taking everything to the storage unit. You might have remembered me talking about the security in this building and that is what really made this be prolonged and very stressful because they were actually not trying to let the guys in who were helping me move they weren't trying to let them in with their van apparently I had to get approval from my landlord to move out and I even asked them like so my landlord could tell y'all to not let me move out like what are you gonna do call the police they were like no it's just more of a formality like you could owe him rent and he feels like you know you can't leave it was just a complete mess so clearly the guys that were helping me move they were not happy with me in this part I mean they were like totally sweet but I would not be happy with me I'm literally trying to explain to them like what is happening and I'm sure that they're probably just like rolling their eyes at me um, but they were so helpful so shout out to them and shout out to my friend who actually had them come and help me this these are his cousins and his friend and I just feel like they really helped me a lot as a girl who is hyper independent and who feels like she has to do everything on her own they were really a godsend and they were so patient with me and they were actually just like great at the way that they like packed things away the way that they helped me move they were so patient and just I really loved them so now it's time for us to load up the truck and actually get these things to the storage unit. So we had to make a few trips back and forth upstairs, of course. Then we also decided that we would probably have to make two trips to the storage unit to make sure that we could get everything in there, which was totally fine. This is me getting in the front and riding up front with the guy, which actually turned out to be pretty decent. The storage unit was about 20 to 25 minutes away from my apartment, so it wasn't terrible. It wasn't as close as I thought it was in the beginning, but what can you do then we got to the storage unit and there was a little bit of drama <laughs> one of the women who checks people in felt like one of the guys was not as forthcoming with the information that she wanted so she says she did not like his attitude which just made me laugh so much because I feel like it was very black American of her she did not like his attitude and he had to apologize so that we could really finish this process thank god they did as you can see the headboard finally made it back in there we are now getting the couch off and into the storage unit as well this is really the end of this part of the process which I feel like can be the most stressful everything was able to fit inside of the storage unit and like I said, if I had one piece of advice to give about moving, get somebody else to do it. <laughs> get somebody else to do it. But if you can't get somebody else to do it, then make sure the people who are helping you know what they're doing. They know how to pack things. They know how to store things because these guys really did. They made sure that my entire one bedroom apartment like fit in this storage unit in a very great way. So I was pretty happy. For a few other things that I needed to get done to finish my move, one was get the second key remade because I lost the other one a few months ago. I also had to clean and I needed to borrow some trash bags. So your girl headed up to the penthouse. 
going to borrow some trash bags from my hot neighbor. Here, thank you. <laughs> Mind your business, I wanted to get one last enjoyment look from that balcony. I really loved it up there and that's one of the reasons why I moved into this building in the first place, just because that view really sold me and the pool, of course, obviously. So anyway, it was time to get back downstairs, made sure we clean everything up. Um, the apartment was extremely disgusting and dirty when I first moved into it. Like, I don't think anyone did this, but you know, I was raised right, so I really had to make sure that I did what I needed to do. In addition to cleaning up, I actually wasn't finished packing. So I had to pack for the remaining two weeks in Joburg where it's winter. And then I also had to pack for two months of summer weather in the States. So that's what I spent most of this time doing aside from cleaning. I also made sure that I dropped my plant off with a friend. And this just gave me the opportunity to really say goodbye to this beautiful apartment. I had some great memories here. Thank you all for watching. And I really appreciate you taking this time to check out my vlog. I hope it was helpful or entertaining. And yeah, I hope that you guys come with me on my journey to find my next place whenever I am back in Joburg. And goodbye to my baby.